Join, Join the, the pack. Here it is as promised, my big haul from that clear out. Now don't forget, it was two boxes for $30. I probably have about seven boxes here. It was at the end of the day, they wanted to give me a great deal and they certainly did so. Some of this is bread and butter, some of it is a little bit more. Some of it I actually have no idea, I'm gonna have to look it up. Okay, what's first? So I got this old RCA video recorder. I thought was kind of awesome if it works. I did plug it in, the battery. I did get it to pop open, hold on here. Okay, well, it did eject the tape, but I can't figure out how to actually get it to record. So it came with everything. Even if it doesn't work, I can easily just sell the parts um, and possibly the battery. Um, or, I mean, just obviously the case. I'm probably just going to sell the case separately anyway because it's not actually made for this one. So I'll probably just sell the case. It's a nice case either way. I'll probably get at least 30 bucks for the case. We have a Garfield. It's like almost like a workbook. I just thought it was absolutely fantastic. I don't know if it's vintage or not, um, but it is unused. So cute. This might be something I bring to Whatnot. I am on Whatnot. I am Mac Pack reselling over on Whatnot. I have not done my first show yet, um, but I will be really soon. So you can look out for that. So got this little dude, Cuddles Collection, I think he was, yeah. Cuddles Collection, new with tags. Couldn't pass him up. We have, who is this guy here? I think this was from I Train My Dragon, but I wasn't 100% sure. DreamWorks, is that I Train My Dragon? I'm not sure. So I just grabbed them anyway. These are cute. There was several of them actually there. Uh, and I thought they were all the same, but then I got home and I realized that they're actually not. These were just basic, I think, just made in China um, wall sets. No idea what these guys are. <laughs> if anyone knows, you can certainly certainly tell me uh that russ um plushies dory russ i i have no idea if they're vintage i have no idea what they're from there's two of them so he's like uh possibly a dog i think oops and i think this is like an elephant i mean he's absolutely adorable how can you not love him this is my first time actually doing one of these videos and uh it's hard grabbing stuff. I, I feel like, oh, my hand's over here. Where is it? Okay, uh, here it is, found it. Um, he was adorable. He isn't new with tags, but he's really cute. He's soft, he's sparkly. Not sure what he is really either. I grabbed these before, so I know that I could get probably about $20 for the set. Um, they're nice SeaWorld glasses. Along with these two, the Rainforest Cafe, I could probably get about $30 for these. I thought they were, oops, I thought they were the same, but they actually are different. This one's actually a little bit smaller, has a different design to it. It's these ones that I've gotten before, so I guess we'll see. These are adorable. I looked these up. I could probably get about $15 each for these. I just thought they were absolutely fantastic, and I love the detail work on them. A bunch of different little Christmas things and stuff like that. This is a tree skirt. It's definitely vintage. I thought that was great. This confused me, actually. I thought this was like for quarters, you put quarters in. I actually think, now that I got it home and actually looked at it, they're actually just sleeves. And I think that somebody just put that in a sleeve, I'm, I'm assuming. I don't think that that is actually uh, what these were for because they're actually really large. So I'm not sure about that. These are still new. And then we have new, these are like for your window um, for Christmas. This is just a cute little bunny thing. I'm probably gonna bring this to whatnot. These are new old stock door covers. God, I remember these when I was a kid. These were like big when I was a kid. I don't even know if people can do them. I'm sure someone's gonna want them for something. They were new, I didn't wanna leave them behind. Let's see what we got. All right, so these are amazing. These are autographs. We have Marcus Allen with the Raiders. Lakers girls. This was right around, I believe, in the 80s. This is more Raiders. Howie Long. 
So, and he's in the Hall of Fame. Now, I have this that I saw too, that I absolutely loved it because it said Y2K on it. I don't even know what's in it. I didn't even look. It's from the year 2000, but I know Y2K is huge right now. And just because this has the Y2K written on it, I think I might be able to get something for that. So I picked that up. This artist I've never heard of before. Let's see if we can, I already broke this, unfortunately. <laughs> This is already broken. I broke the fish off. He was so cute. I think I'm just gonna glue him on and then bring him to whatnot, like as is, if I can glue him and you can't tell. And then I can just disclose it. But he was a tart burner. Pokemon cards and baseball cards, just random things that actually were thrown in there. All right, let's see if we can get this. This is beautiful, this piece here. Okay. This is Mother with Child. And I've never heard of the artist before. Poets, I believe it's, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyway, I absolutely love that. So what else do we have here? I gotta change my light here, hold on. We have some new picture frames. I believe this fits in Floyd. Yep, it's Fitz and Floyd. The only thing is, so I thought this must be decorative because there's a hanger there. Um, there was a little chip on it though. Where was the chip? I can't seem to see it right now, but I thought I saw a chip on it, which I was a little disappointed with, but that's okay. Look at her. How cute is this, right? Then we have some salt and, oh, I'm kind of reaching over the table here. We have cute little angel, salt and pepper shakers. They're avocados. <laughs> I love avocados. I think this is handmade. We might actually keep that. We have this adorable clown. How cute is he? And he actually plays too. Um, I kind of want to spare you with him though, so I won't play him, but I mean, how could you not love this clown, right? I picked up this. Um, unfortunately, the paint, he, the paint's coming off, but that's okay. He was made in Japan, so I picked him up anyway, even though his paint's not that great. We have some angels. She's beautiful. She is actually, let me pick her up too. She actually is a music box. We have some china. All right, here we go. We have, oh, let me see. That's probably not smart. Let's just pick up one. Here we go. All right. So, George, Georgina, eggshell, china. I can't speak ever or read or pronounce anything. So, that's gonna be fun you'll be along for the ride for that so these are rosenthal i believe i said that correctly germany now these are really nice oops if i don't break them so i could probably get about 20 dollars a plate for these ones 15 to 20 and then these larger ones here probably about 25 to 30 a plate so those are really nice um let's see here I think these are weatherling here. Let's see. Yep. Winterling. I'm sorry. Winterling. We got this cute little chase dog bucket. Paw Patrol. Right, Day? Paw Patrol. Say hi, Day. Don't introduce me. So this here is actually, um, this is from the 70s, I believe, but it's a, like the paint your own. Did a great job. Um, this is another one too. I believe someone hand painted this. And then I picked up these little guys. I mean, there's not tons of value in these, but I just thought they were absolutely adorable. And I've actually never seen them before. So, I mean, how cute are these? I would pay the, I would pay for these. I mean, I just think they're so cute. Like, look at her. We have some M&M tins, two M&M tins. What else do we have here? Uh, beautiful tray, cute little dogs. Um, so this is a Snow Babies. This was like a, almost like a little nativity set. The other pieces were broken, unfortunately. Um, so I'll probably just part that out. I'll probably sell her. And then this would be a replacement in case someone's broke. Um, this is a tart burner. Um, this is actually really pretty here. Let's try. Oh, turkey. Gobble, gobble, gobble. I got this beautiful cross. I love this. This is probably going to go to whatnot. Hummel. Vintage Hummel. This is actually, um, th these are the parts with it. And this is actually a scanner. It's old new stock scanner, new old stock 
Yes. Did I say that right? He moves back and forth, and this spins. I know he works. I think I have to turn it more, maybe. Okay, here we go. There we go. We have a Kodak camera case. Oh, Vanity White over here. Hi. Mom, you mean Vanity White? All right, there's our camera case. Let's put it down a little there today. A little bit. There you go. Nice camera case we got going on there. Uh, let's see, what have we not shown you yet? We have some hats. We have tons of little ornaments. I like these a lot. These are baby's first Christmas. And then you write on the back the name and the date. We have over here some new i he's vintage i've never limbo legs if anyone knows anything about limbo legs let me know i just thought he was really cute he's new and then this is almost like a parachute material um i really liked him he's not let me see what it, it says his, on his little tag here anything yep he's polyester vintage 1995 these are just all new DVDs and um, a couple VHSs. Um, this was, I don't usually pick up any VHS that's still open, um, but I did pick this one up because it was horror, at least my version of horror anyway, Interview with a Vampire, and horror VHS does sell, even if it is open. So I grabbed that, and then all of these DVDs are new. Um, they might go on eBay, but I'm also trying to get onto Amazon. Uh, there's just a few more things I have to do with that. And even if they're cheap DVDs, usually people will pay higher for them on Amazon just because of the convenience of Amazon. So a lot of the DVDs and stuff probably just go on Amazon. We have a really nice sweatshirt here. Some Hulk. I think this was actually a sheet. Chinese calendar. Um, this is, I wouldn't say it's a blanket, but more like maybe um, like a wall decoration, I think maybe. Cute little New York purse, some vintage pajamas. Look at this. How cute. Love it. Some more wall hangings here. My daughter yet again. <laughs> and this is a, what is this, Daytona? Oh, Dragon Ball Z. This is Dragon Ball Z, new with tags bag. Probably get a good $10 for that. So this I actually did not get um, at the sale. This was actually from a whatnot auction from Courtney Bolo Buddies. If you are not already subscribed to her, she has the best YouTube channel. She has unbelievable content. She's very knowledgeable in toys. She does the Goodwill Bins videos, is on Whatnot, and she does amazing shows, great deals. She does vintage clothing, she does children's clothing, a state bio she said she was going to do soon, um, but definitely great prices, great products. So Bolo Buddies over on Whatnot. Okay, so what else do we have here? We have Strawberry Shortcake Bag. I think this is actually handmade, but it's Strawberry Shortcake, it will probably sell. We have a few Barbies. I think she's actually vintage. I know. My Barbies correctly. Can we read that? I think I'm going to have to hold on. Let me bring the light over. Yep, 2001. That's okay. She doesn't have any clothes on. Though. You're indecent. Hide yourself. All right. What else do we got? Frosty the Snowman stocking. New it tags tie. This is Christian Delore. Christian Delore. I think I said that right. I think it's probably the only thing I did say right the entire day. What do we have here? We have two, bring it down more. Bring it down, there we go. We have two stockings. You're showing the front and the back. Um, and then we have new shoes. Probably get about $40 for these. A beautiful porcelain tree topper. She's new, her legs are still wrapped up. And then we have a new treasury collection. Now, some of these can be worth a lot of money and some of them are just bread and butter. She even has accessories with her. Probably get about $30 for her. All right, so for the clothes, Daytona's gonna show you guys the clothes and kind of the tags. And I'm kind of just gonna talk to you about actually uh, what we're doing here. So I have an eBay store, MacPack reselling. There's not a lot in it yet. And the reason why that is, is because I was always a yard sale person 
flea market, Facebook marketplace. I dabbled in Poshmark a little bit and I have sold on eBay a little bit too, but not very often, um, not professionally, I would say. And I am a full-time homeschool mom and I do have a full-time job, but I'm getting towards the end of my career and I kind of wanted to make sure that we were able to do something that I could still support and not have to do the full-time job I'm doing now. So that's why we're really getting into eBay and Amazon and all the other selling platforms and YouTube so we could branch out and do something else. So that's the plan. So please follow me on eBay and follow me on YouTube, subscribe and follow me on Whatnot because I have tons of merchandise that I will be putting on Whatnot, will be going into my eBay store. So this is kind of just the beginning. So it'd be great if you guys could follow me. She's gonna continue showing you the clothes. <laughs> There's so many clothes. <laughs> That's Sky. This is my son Chase. These are pack. wall sconces. We have two of them. So we'll probably I could probably get about a hundred to two hundred dollars for these. They're beautiful. They're so heavy. Go ahead and turn around and show them the Yeah, go ahead. There you go. Good job. So they're absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and vintage. So okay. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Are you ready for how much I paid for all of this? $30. That equaled out to 14 cents for each item. Definitely gonna make some money here. on the next one. Happy sourcing.